watch the solar phenomenon, you first have to make sure you're not staring, of course, directly into the sun. You shouldn't do that regardless of eclipse or not. And that's why our first alert meteorologist, Jana Brown, is explaining the safe way for you to watch the solar eclipse. On Monday, April 8th, we have a wonderful opportunity to check out a partial solar eclipse here in Western Mass. Even though we won't get to see the big show of totality, we'll actually get to see most of the sun disappear. As you make your plans to watch the eclipse, the first thing to figure out is how to watch it safely. No matter where you are, looking at the sun requires protection or eye damage can occur. In order to protect your eyes, you need specific glasses or lenses for solar viewing. This is a pretty big event, and there's a lot of eclipse glasses to choose from, and they're sold online for many sites. Use caution, though. There's a lot of fakes out there. Look for this, ISO 12312-2. This is the current standard for safe solar viewing, and your eclipse safety glasses are viewers should have this designation printed on them. There's also filters made for safe viewing through telescopes, binoculars, and cameras. Well, if you don't have these cool glasses or viewers to check out the solar eclipse, there's actually a way you can view it indirectly, and you can make it a fun science project for the kiddos. All you need is a cardboard box. Cereal boxes work well. A white piece of paper, tape, scissors, aluminum foil, and a pin. With the sun behind you, sunlight will stream through a pinhole punched into the aluminum foil, taped over a hole, on one side of the box. During the partial eclipses of a solar eclipse, this will project a crescent sun onto a white sheet of paper taped to the inside of the box. Look into the box through another hole cut into the top to see the projected image. You can even decorate the box for some added fun. If you'd rather use a projection method to view the eclipse without a fuss, just grab an index card and punch a hole in the middle. Stand with your back to the sun and allow the light to pass through the card. This will project a shadow onto the ground, which will eventually look like a crescent too. The only people who get to take off their glasses or look away from their viewer and look right at the sun are those on the line of totality. If you're traveling to that line for the eclipse, you'll have a few minutes of darker skies as the sun gets completely covered. You can remove your glasses for that brief time and view the big show. It is absolutely worth it. And our special coverage of the Great American Eclipse continues all week right here on the networks of Western Mass News. Just tune in, as you always would anyway at 4 and 5 on ABC 40.